All right, YouTube, one with six Falconer. Um, <clears throat> this is my middle boy's 1987 Ford F-250 two-wheel drive. 5.8 liter carbureted. Um, and it was running like shit. I mean, terrible. I turned the air conditioning on, the truck wanted to die. If I sound nasally, it's because I got shit up my nose because time of year I get my freaking bloody noses every year uh, <coughs> excuse me so <coughs> I pulled all the vacuum lines off not all of them I left a couple so I thought it'd be uh, better uh, to make a video showing what I kept now we're in New York and believe it or not this communist state does not have a sniffer check so um we can get away with ditching the, uh, one second, son of a bitch. My God, I hate freaking cell phones. That's somebody saying from Document Services wanted to talk to some, uh, Rodrigo Rodriguez about important documents. Jeez, give me a break. All right, anyways, so, um, I thought it'd be easier to show you, uh, easier showing you what I left on the truck and like I said New York State they don't have that sniffer test this truck only needs a safety inspection all right so when I was able to pull off this truck starting here were these lines that go up to the carburetor right there and they would go down to the uh, to the uh, res uh, the canister out here which these lines this is all all part of that bubble jumble but you can see here the canister that line is totally broke it off um, so that wasn't doing anything the uh, EGR valve was shot. The diaphragm is shot there. And that's what started the whole thing. Me removing the EGR valve. And then I I just cut a piece of quarter inch steel and, and capped it right there. I used the existing gasket, capped that. Made the truck run a whole bunch better, but still not good enough. Um, and then all the other... These freaking vacuum lines, which are broken all over the place. You see there's tape on them. Um, let me find, let me, here, broken there. These things all broken, you know, just broke everywhere. All right. Now, also, if you notice, these lines are all different colors. You got green, yellow, red, uh, then your black lines. So if you're looking at your vacuum diagram, this is all color-coded to show you which vacuum line is which, what goes to where. And uh, <coughs> there's a site, fullsizebroncos.com, I believe it is. I'm going to put a link in the video that explains to you what the purpose of all these different colors are. So in case you have to have your vacuum lines work and everything, it'll show you. Plus, it'll show you all the abbreviations, like like your VCV, uh, your TK, you know, this and that. It shows you everything. TK's throttle kicker, which is right there. Uh, but anyway, so I took everything off. Uh, oh, I was also able to take off the mount here. This is what the smog pump mounted on, which went here. Your alternator mounted in between that. I took that off. I made a spacer out of just some 3 8 pipe. Fits perfect. Uh, you're, you're right about 2 and 9 16 inches. This is what you want to be for that. So then that opens up a lot more, too, so you could, you know, easily work on, on, on crap in here. So what I did here, well, let me say something else before I forget about it. Um, 
one of them li broken lines there went to this main manifold vacuum port right here. What? Well, right here where I capped it off. Um, and the brakes on this thing were spongy. Well, that's because your your vacuum booster for your brake runs off of this too. And that one line was broke right off of there. So now that I've capped that, the brakes are the way they should be. Uh, I went to AutoZone. I bought a, uh, a multi-pack uh, vacuum line caps, which was awesome because I, I was able to cap off the carburetor on both ends, uh, cap off these ports, capped off back here, uh, all over here, you know, I mean, it's freaking awesome. Uh, so the only thing I left was, as you can see, this is the, the red vacuum thingamajiggity here. That's totally capped off, all three ports. The blue one, I have that totally capped off. The only one that I left was this yellow one. Uh, there's one line here, and then there's like a, a filter end on there. And that's running over around here, back down. Looks like it goes to the transmission or something. Goes right here. Uh, then you have this red line here that comes out from the other main vacuum port. That goes up around, tees off right here. And I think this is a vacuum control solenoid or vacuum control valve. I'm not exactly sure, but the black lines that come out, they go around and it tees here and it goes into your throttle kicker right here. Now, if you don't know what a throttle kicker is, that's if you put a load on the vehicle, like turn your air conditioning on or this or that, this will, the vacuum will pull this and open your throttle up a little bit so that you maintain RPMs. Now, this truck never had, uh, the throttle kicker was not working on it. This, the bracket was bent way down, so there was about an inch gap. So, what I found online is you want to start out about a quarter inch gap and then adjust it. And the way you adjust your throttle kicker is you want to plug it into a direct vacuum line, which the one coming off of here that goes to the air cleaner to open up the uh, uh, heat damper. That's a direct vacuum line. So you plug that right in with the, with the engine, you know, warmed up. And then you adjust this by turning this half inch nut here in or out until you're in drive uh, idling at 800 RPMs, okay? Which I've done with this. Um, it, I'll tell you, you turn that air conditioner on now and it, it holds it right at 800 RPMs. Uh, so that's that, and believe me, I never knew what the hell a throttle kicker was until I started screwing with this thing. Um, so that line comes off of there, goes back into here. Now, I don't know if I could get rid of this line and just use the main red line here to operate the... Uh, the the valve here but you know it's not broke it doesn't get in the way too much so i'm just going to leave this stuff the way it is but i'll tell you what the truck freaking runs awesome now um you fire it up you're cold if you look at your specs here you're supposed to be at uh your fast idle 2000 rpms blah 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 um, that's all good the curb idle is still a little hinky 
It's supposed to be a 650 RPMs. Um, I think the carburetor, I don't know if there's bad gasket on there or what, but I mean, it, it fluctuates. It's like 650, 625, you know, up, down. So, which isn't bad, but you turn that throttle kicker on and it, it'll hold it. You know, if you pull it to a stoplight with your air conditioner on and stuff, I mean, it just holds it right at 800 RPMs. So that's freaking awesome. Um, so anyways, if you want to get rid of all your vacuum, or, you know, if you can, um, these are the only things I left. I mean, just this yellow, for this yellow connector, left that on, around, capped off the EGR, capped off the main main vacuum here that was causing the brakes to be spongy. Um, I capped off this red one here because this line was broke. Kept that off. Uh, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Now, when I oh, when I took the black lines out, there's a line here that I don't know if that's just a, you know go back into the fuel tank, uh, evaporate, whatever. I don't know. So I kept that off. Um, but everything else, I mean, you need you need up here. There's a there's a vacuum junction. You need these to operate your, your vent system because that's vacuum operated. Uh, you need your distributor vacuum for the vacuum advance. Oh yeah, and it, also with the big black lines that took off, one of them went down here to the carburetor, which I capped that off there. I capped the carburetor off here there was a yellow line that uh, came off, I believe it came off of here, that went to the carburetor, so that's capped off. The two ends of the carburetor are capped off. Um, of course, back there, it's, it's capped here. Um, I think that's really about it, man. And like I say, she runs like a freaking rape date now. So, uh, I mean, as good as it's going to get without pulling the carburetor, maybe doing a rebuild, I think there might be a little issue with the with the uh, uh, accelerator pump. Because sometimes when you hit it, you, you get a lag. And that's usually your accelerator pump. So, uh, I can't think of anything else, man. But, like I say, she fires up runs great uh, got rid of all that excess crap we don't need you know it's all all laid here in the ground so but if you got any questions man uh, you know ask I don't always reply to comments because I'm a lazy some bitch but anyways that's it man 87 5.8 liter Vacuum line removal and throttle kicker adjusting. So, all right, see ya, bitches.